Hello and welcome to the channel. Northern leaders have tasked President Bola Hakmet Tinubu to take the fight to rest and not pander to them by way of negotiation. Tinubu has been consulting widely as he attempts to curb the insecurity in the country, particularly the rests ravaging the northern parts of the country. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Clear how forest of bandits, northern leaders task Tinubu. Some northern leaders have said the only way there can be a lasting solution to the problem of insecurity in the country is to clear the forest of bandits. They argue that it will be foolish for the government to think of negotiating with the bandits as suggested by the former governor of Zamfara State, Malamsani Yerima, in view of the past negotiations with the bandits, which they refused to respect. They therefore called on President Bola Tinubu to take the fight against insecurity in the country to the doorstep of the bandits in the forest. Elder statesman and former Secretary General of the Arewa Consultative Forum, ACF, Anthony N. Z. Sani, said, Any thoughts of negotiation with rest is derived from the hard age that if you kill one person, you will be charged for murder. If you kill 10 people, you will be examined for insanity. But if you kill hundreds of people, you will be invited for peace talks in Geneva, not because the Committee of Nations likes the killings, but in order to stop further killing. I am not sure Nigeria has reached that level that would make negotiation necessary. All the government needs to do is to set its priority and have enough number of well-trained, unequipped security personnel sufficiently motivated to take the fight to the doorstep of the bandits in the forest and secure the nation. I am not sure if negotiation with bandits can be productive and helpful, considering the fact that bandits do not have common leadership and central command structure across the country. The groups are independent of each other. As a result, any resolution or agreement reached cannot be binding on all the different groups of bandits. Former Special Advisor to the immediate past Katsina State Governor, Malam Bachie Usman, Ruagondia, on his part, said the people of the area have been left between the devil and the deep blue sea. According to him, the only development project we named particularly in the northwest region now is for President Bola Tinubu to clear a forest of bandits, whichever way he deems fit, to bring a lasting solution to our neighborhood. Our major problem in Katsina Zamfara, Sokoto, Ninja, Kaduna is this insecurity. If we can have these banditry wiped away, I think that will be the best we can say democracy has done for us. There are over 1,001 groups of bandits in the forest. Which among them are we going to discuss with? That is one of the problems we have in Katsina. If you discuss with one camp, another one will tell you they are not part of that group. Therefore, you cannot trust these people. If you say government should go for dialogue and amnesty, you have to consider the past. Several attempts by different state governments were made in the past, including Katsina State. We negotiated with them for about three times. The same thing was done in other states, but these people are still operating. They have refused to stop. So, if you now say you want to repeat the same thing, it will look foolish. But even if it will be done, then there is need to change the strategy as no Special strategy was applied in previous negotiations. So, if the president can initiate something different, my appeal is for the government to do the needful. They have all the security apparatus at their disposal. They have the strategies, they have the manpower and the resources, so they know what to do. On his part, al Aji Ahmed Ibrahim Katsina a former special advisor on security matters in Katsina State said the federal government should adopt a multidimensional approach to hand banditry. Katsina said, in a security situation of this nature, you have to look at both the victims and the rest. If you give amnesty to the rest, what about the victims? Whatever the government plans to do must be multidimensional. The concerns of both the victims and the rest have to be addressed to ensure lasting peace. So, it is not the issue of amnesty that matters, it is about doing the right thing that will end the problems. First and foremost, they have to look at the factors that led to the crisis. 
That is what the government should address first. The factors that led to why we are fighting today must be looked at. So, if you grant amnesty without addressing those factors, we will go back to square one. That was the mistake we did before. You don't even require any amnesty if you address the factors. But if they are not addressed, whatever is done will end up increasing the symptoms responsible for the crisis. While in office as secretary to Katsina state government, Dr. Mustafa Inua had revealed why the previous negotiations with the bandits spearheaded by the then governor, Aminu Belo Masari, failed, which made the governor to vow in 2020 never to go into negotiations with the bandits again, and at some point in 2021, order the residents to acquire guns to defend themselves. He has said then, in this state, we did it twice. In the early 2017, we had that, and we were able to achieve relative peace for almost two years. But in the two cases, what we realize is that, one, these people don't have a common leader, whom, if you agree with, everybody accepts. They have different groups, and even within the groups, they don't have a common leader, unlike BH, which is based on a particular ideology. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. These are pure criminals and thieves. They don't have a common leader that all others follow. If anyone enters into an agreement with the government, the rest will pull out that he has a nest world and so he wants them to pull out. And if he is not careful, they can even kill him. That is why in the first peace deal we had, most of the 90% of those who embraced peace and repented were killed by the bandits. Because as long as they remained in the forest, there will never be peace. They must have guns to protect themselves, and so on. Secondly, this non-kinetic approach is not something that is accepted by all the states. Cardona, for instance, has never entered into any peace deal with the bandits. Sokoto has never accepted it, while Katsina has done it. So, there is no way you can have this with only one state because the bandits move from one place to another. Again, even if you want to negotiate peace with these people, let it be from the point of strength. Let them demand or request for it after they may have been confronted and devastated and they realized that there was nothing they could do and they now decided to accept peace. Then you can give them a condition to surrender all their weapons. But if you allow them to hold their weapons, then you will go back to square one. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time. Bye.